by shifting focus then to the telecom space and the standoff between uh, some international telcos and the government continues uh, days after we had uh, Uninor and uh, Telenor saying that they have sent a notice to the government to settle the 2G license cancellation matter within six months. We also have Russian firm Systema getting back. They've termed the cancellation of their telecom license as unfair and Systema says that the Russian president Medvedev will discuss the issue with the Indian Prime Minister Manmohan Singh sued. Even as the Russian government bats for Systema, the company says it will not back off from the show cause notice it has issued to the Indian government threatening to invoke international arbitration to protect its $3 billion investment in the country. We came in India in good faith following the existing procedure and when somebody says that all this uh, operators whose licenses were cancelled um, just were legitimately acquired license pr uh, licenses, you know, we are a little bit surprised about the whole thing. So I think we, it's very much unfair about us. Sorry to interrupt, but are you very serious about this whole notice which you have sent to the government of India? Yeah, we are serious about everything what we are doing. We are established business, big company. We are, mm, L Sistema is uh, listed in, in London, in the London Stock Exchange. We are, have minority shareholders, biggest investment funds, you know, behind us. So uh, even if it's like we put it just formally, the management of the company should do its best to protect the interest of the shareholder because interest will, uh, their shareholders will suffer following this decision. S uh, Sistema is of course a very important Russian company as well. The Russian president is in India, he's meeting the Indian Prime Minister. So is this whole issue also going to come up or be part of the discussion? It was already discussed during the uh, level of uh, Ministry of Trade and uh, Economics and the level of Mr. Sharma and Mrs. Nabiulina just a couple of days ago. We are promised that the issue will be raised as well during the uh, meeting with uh, of Mr. Medvedev with Mr. Singh, you know, which will happen in, like, in one hour. But we will see, you know, what the consequences will be. We, our position is very strong uh, and very straightforward, saying that as soon as, like, the government promised to the Russian government and to us to protect the interest of of the investors who invested in good faith, in very much in coordination and in accordance with the government policy, I think it may be fair for us to expect the government will try to protect us and just to explain the, our situation to Supreme Court, you know, uh, maybe for the second time.